Hello and welcome back to the channel. If you're looking for a flashlight with extreme range and serious visibility in the Nightcore P40 with up to 2000 lumens and a beam that can reach a jaw dropping 3171 yards. This light isn't just powerful, it's like having a lighthouse in your hand. Let's break down what makes the P40 a beast in exploration, search and rescue, and professional work. Before we start, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Turn on notification bell. This way you get our videos as soon as we upload them. And now, let's see what comes in the box. You get the P40 flashlight, holster, USB-C charging cable, lanyard, bare O-rings, and the manual. At its core, the P40 combined LEP technology for a long-distance pinpoint beam with the five floodlight LEDs for a wide area coverage. That means you're getting the best of both worlds. If you're wondering what's LEP, LEP stands for Laser Excited Fispar, and instead of the traditional LEDs, it uses a laser to excite a Fispar layer, producing an incredibly tight focused beam of white light. The result? Extreme throw distance that standard LEDs simply can't match. Why LEP over LED? LEP beams are insanely concentrated. That's why the P40 can reach over 3100 yard distance that would require massive reflector-based LED lights. LEP is best for search and rescue, long-range scanning, and tactical spot where you need a far throw and even pinpoint accuracy. You may wonder, why then we still need LED? Because LEDs are unbeatable for general lighting and flood coverage. They can spread light naturally, illuminating your surrounding for hiking, camping, or caving. So this is where the P40 hybrid design shines. By combining LEP and LEDs in one body, you're not forced to choose between distance or area coverage. If you've seen Nightcore's P35i, you recognize the same philosophy. LEP surrounded by LEDs for ultimate flexibility. The P40 continues this design, but takes the throw distance to a whole new level. It also features adaptive cruise mode, which automatically adjusts the brightness depending on the angle you're holding the flashlight. Tilted up for max throw, tilted down for close range illumination. No fiddling required. But why does this matter? Because it means less fiddling with buttons and modes. If you're hiking at night, you don't blind yourself when you're looking down. It's faster, safer, and way more intuitive. Whether you're patrolling, navigating the wilderness, or running a search and rescue operation, this flashlight is ready for you. And now, let's see what this beast can do at night. The mixed light mode, spotlight and floodlight, give you that balanced, bright beam that can light up to 26 football fields. Turbo mode is 2000 lumen with 3171 yard throw and can run for one hour. High mode is 600 lumen with 1093 yard throw and can run for two hours and 30 minutes. Mid mode is 300 lumen with 820 yard throw and can run for four hours. Low mode is 80 lumen with 371 yard throw and can run for 20 hours. In spotlight mode, using the LEP, the beam slides through darkness, perfect for scanning tree lines, mountain sides, or locating objects thousands of yards away. High mode is 400 lumen with 2187 yard throw and 2 hour and 30 minutes runtime. Mid mode is 200 lumen with 1640 yard throw and can run for 3 hours and 45 minutes. Low mode is 50 lumen with 743 yard throw and can run for 20 hours. Switching to floodlight mode using the LEDs and you'll get a wide even coverage, idea for camping, caving, or inspection work. High mode is 800 lumen with 103 yard throw and can run for 2 hours and 30 minutes. Mid mode is 400 lumen with 71 yard throw and can run for 4 hours. Low mode is 100 lumen with 36 yard throw and can run for 20 hours. The P40 measures 7.3 inches long with a solid 2.6 inches head for beam control yet weighs just 13.7 ounces. It's rugged, IP68 water and dust proof, and impact resisting up to one meter. Built to handle rain, mud, dust, this is a tool you can count on in demanding conditions. If you're on a search and rescue mission, you don't have to worry about dropping it or getting wet while searching. To turn the flashlight on, press the tail light switch. It will start on the last output level you were using, thanks to its smart memory. Button A, which is the arrow up, this is your main control for increasing the output level. Low, mid, high, turbo. Position right where your thumb naturally rests. It's easy to access even with the gloves on. And if you want to decrease the power output, pressing the B button, which is the arrow down, it will decrease the output level from turbo, high, mid, and low. You can also use the B button to switch between spotlight, floodlight, and mixed mode by pressing and holding it while the light is on. That means you don't have to scroll through every option to get the beam style you want. 
One click and you're all set. And if you want to turn the flashlight off, press the tail switch again. Whether you're running full turbo or low with a max runtime of 20 hours, it's easy to recharge the P40. You can tell when you're running out of juice with the power indicator located between the buttons. And on the other side of these buttons is the USB-C fast charging port. It can fully recharge the 5500 mAh battery in just over two hours or remove it and pop in a fresh battery. Now, let me tell you what I think about this flashlight. Before we talk about all the specs and numbers, I just want to say it's a lot of fun to use. It's like having your own lightsaber because it can easily cut through the night. And if you want your friend's jaw to drop, this flashlight would definitely do it with its end match throw distance. The Nightcore P40 is more than just a flashlight. It's a serious tool for search and rescue and exploration. With NMASH 2000 lumen and 3171 yard throw, versatile lighting modes, long run time, and rugged durability. It's ready for everything from high stake missions to your next outdoor adventure. So if you want a flashlight that can really go the distance, the Nightcore P40 is the one to grab. Let me know in the comments below what's your thoughts. And until next time, keep exploring and stay lit.